hello now today a new topic will be started that will be signal analyzer now different type of signal analyzer signal analyzer is actually you can see the definition at the screen that it is a basic instrument which is used to measure the frequency properties of a signal but with the help of the different techniques now whenever we try to measure the frequency properties of the signal we know that a signal is uh, basically consists of two component that is first one is its amplitude and second one is its frequency now in the ordinary case we are going to plot a signal like that where this is your amplitude and the x axis this is your time and from that we are indirectly measure the frequency that is the general waveform pattern that we have seen in our previous laboratory experiment and with the help of a instrument that is called the CRO but that is not the signal analysis instrument this analysis is indirect measurement of the frequency with the help of its amplitude amplitude is not important with the help of its time period we are measuring the time period of a signal and from the relationship that means f equal to 1 by t we are calculating the frequency indirectly now in that analysis we are not concerned with the every frequency components amplitude that means uh, signal analyzer is actually measuring the frequency whatever may be the frequency component that means one signal may be consist of different frequency component and we want to measure the particular frequency band amplitude with the help of a signal analyzer now signal analyzer can be a spectrum analyzer which you must encounter in your communication engineering lab purpose that means it actually plots the fourier transform or the signal Fourier transform of the signal that means in the x-axis instead of time it is frequency and in the y-axis the amplitude that means whatever may be the plot of this signal we are calculating the different portion frequency that means if this is your frequency 1 we are calculating the amplitude of this now in the case of the spectrum analyzer we are plotting a range of frequency and a range of amplitude okay so that is written here that you can see that spectrum analyzer actually sweeps the signal frequency band and display the plot of amplitude that means it actually plots a band of frequency present within a signal we are considering here the practical signal we are not considering here the lab generated signal that is composed of only a single frequency that is this signal in this signal you can say that this is a single frequency component signal pure signal but whenever we encounter a practical signal the practical signal according to the definition of the Fourier series that means it consists of a DC component Fourier series is actu actually says that every signal may be consist of a DC component plus n number of sinusoidal harmonics that means sinusoidal harmonics sinusoidal harmonics means summation of sine and cosine signal ranging from 1 to infinite infinite okay and it has a dc component so that is the meaning of every practical signal it has a dc component and it has different harmonic signal that is represented by the fourier series that means it is not only consist of a zero frequency component that is by dc instead of it is frequency its frequency is not unique its frequency is composed of different sinusoidal signal frequency that is the mathematical representation of any signal uh, you can uh, refer your signal and system course so whatever i am talking from the first that every signal analysis instrument must plot the amplitude of the frequency instead of this time period with the amplitude we are plotting the frequency in the x-axis and most generally amplitude in the 
y axis okay so that is written over here spectrum analyzer is plotting a range of frequency with the amplitude in the y axis and wave analyzer wave analyzer is a part, uh, particular instrument particular instrument means spectrum analyzer plotting a range of frequency with the amplitude but the wave analyzer is used to measure a single frequency component present within a signal okay so you may call it it is a frequency selective voltmeter that means wave analyzer we are today discussing the wave analyzer so wave analyzer is actually a frequency selective voltmeter which is actually measure a particular frequency amplitude with the help of a voltmeter so the circuit is consist of different filter uh, circuit to tune the frequency of a particular range not range a particular value and the voltmeter is actually measuring that particular frequency's amplitude hope you get it the introduction part so it you can see that the wave analyzer it is written the wave analyzer and uh, whatever i am uh, talking at the introduction in the case of the fourier series that is important that every signal is composed of a dc component and a series of sinusoidal harmonics that is nothing but your statement of fourier fourier series okay that every signal is composed of a zero frequency component plus a series of sinusoidal harmonics you can refer to the fourier series expression you can easily find out this meaning of that so the analysis of the waveform consists of determination of the value of amplitude and frequency that means we are here only in the case of the wave analyzer we are only concerned with the single frequency components amplitude that means whatever may be the frequency we are only concerned with the whatever what the frequency this is the frequency and we are concerned only with the amplitude of that frequency but in the case of the spectrum analyzer we are plotting a range of frequency with a amplitude plot like that hope you uh, get the difference between the wave analyzer and the spectrum analyzer and what is the need of that and the function of both these two and next the classification of the wave analyzer is goes in two section first one is frequency selective wave analyzer or the frequency selective voltmeter you can say that and the difference between these two is that is frequency range is low that means audio frequency range and heterodyne heterodyne wave analyzer works on the principle of heterodyne or the mixing principle as in the case of the communication and its range is quite higher in the megahertz range okay that means uh, the purpose of these two classification is only based on the frequency that means if the signal analyzer or the wave analyzer is used to measure the amplitude of a frequency in the audio range then it is called the frequency selective wave analyzer you can use the frequency selective wave analyzer in that case but uh, if the purpose is to measure the higher frequency amplitude then you go for the heterodyne wave analyzer okay so next is frequency selective wave analyzer now before going into the block diagram of this now you can see that the frequency selective wave analyzer i have said that in the previous that it is range is audio frequency range that is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz you can see that the audio this is the audio frequency range okay and in the case of the heterodyne wave analyzer wave analyzer the frequency range is quite high that means it is in the megahertz range that is the only difference between the frequency selective wave analyzer and the heterodyne wave analyzer now before going into this block diagram okay so you can see that the first one i am showing the output the output you can see that this is the particular frequency where the amplitude is going to measure so that is the function of this frequency selective wave analyzer that means peak amplitude the actual amplitude is going to happen only here that means it select the frequency with the help of a filter this circuit and measure the uh, amplitude of that frequency 
that particular frequency with the help of a voltmeter and displayed it now before going into this block diagram i am showing you a simple block diagram that is uh, okay this is the frequency selective wave analyzer so first one is your input attenuator second one is your amplifier next is your high q filter and you can see these three here also this is your input attenuator this is your driver amplifier and this is your high q filter you can see that written over here high q active filter okay and next block is output amplifier with a meter circuit and output buffer with an auxiliary output and also this is the simple simpler circuit much simpler here the meter range attenuator output amplifier and this is the buffer output amplifier or the meter output range okay now input attenuator the function of this written function of all this is written here input attenuator is actually used to attenuate the signal if the signal amplitude is too large obviously the range of the signal is audio frequency next driver amplifier is actually amplifies the signal or the receive signal receive from here if it is necessary then the main thing is high q filter now the high q filter is actually selecting the frequency over a particular range okay here in the case of the audio frequency range now for that purpose uh, i have uh, first discuss the basic theory of this and you can see that before that you can see here it is written that it is filter section with a very narrow pass band okay so it is written in narrow pass band high q active filter so what is the meaning of that narrow pass band high q active filter and it is um, so it is passing a particularly very narrow band okay with the obviously the audio frequency narrow band and this is this rc and this rc section consist of two filter one high pass filter one low pass filter and this two is actually consisting or producing a narrow pass band filter so that's why i am showing you the basic theory first so this is a narrow pass band filter high q active filter and that filter theory i have shown here so this is active band pass filter whose uh, lower frequency range is fl and higher frequency range is obviously fh okay now this filter output is like that band pass filter okay so this is consist of one high pass filter between that is a amplification circuit and after that it is a low pass filter so this narrow pass band active pass band, uh, pass band filter is consisting of a high pass filter and a low pass filter that is the main meaning of that and it is your then consist this is you can see that rc filter and here you can see that this is your rc circuit and cr circuit high pass filter and the low pass filter consisting of or producing a narrow pass band filter so the cut off frequency of the low pass there is a cut off frequency for the low pass filter so you can see that this is the cut off frequency of the high pass filter that means passing all the frequency above that and low in the case of the low pass filter it is passing all the frequency above fh and if we combine both this you can see that if you combine both this then you can get a band pass filter so that is the meaning of that okay so that is the meaning of this uh, active band pass filter circuit you can just draw a similarity between this this is rc this is rc there is amplifier there is amplifier okay so the main uh, meaning to say that that the active narrow pass band filter is consisting of first stage is high pass filter second stage is low pass filter and both this the output of both this is consisting of a pass band filter okay so that is written over here okay, this is the high q filter and this is your high q filter this is attenuator amplifier then the filter circuit okay so this filter circuit this is the filter circuit selecting the frequency particular band okay 
okay so uh, you can see that what is the purpose of this high q filter high q filter is actually very selective filter for a very narrow passband which is designed by using to one high pass filter and was low pass filter combining both these two and whenever uh, this filter is consist of by this rc type of high pass and low pass filter resonance circuit with the type of this rc resonance circuit combination of these two then uh, here the two component r and c has special uh, function r is actually varied with a frequency control purpose that means to change the frequency r is actually a potentiometer type instrument so if this is changed then the frequency control will be changed we change the frequency but whatever we have a desired frequency that is changing c is varied with a frequency multiplier that means if we uh, used to change the range of the frequency over a band then we used to vary the c so that is the purpose of these two r and c and next the two stage is meter range attenuator output amplifier and the output buffer meter range attenuator is its gate selected AF signal as an input and produces an attenuator output that means it is getting this that means it is getting this output meter range attenuator from the frequency selective circuit of the high q filter circuit it is getting the input and if required it attenuates the waveform next is the amplifier general stage if required it actually amplifies the signal and the output meter voltage range and uh, auxiliary output this is used for the recording purpose and it is used to give an indication of the meter reading so this is your output reading so it is uh, actually a voltmeter used to the overall if you overall uh, look at the overall circuit diagram then it is a frequency selective voltmeter that is very important that means it is an instrument which select a particular frequency according to the according which user is actually desires with the help of obviously this variation of this rnc control switch and then if user select the particular frequency range then this instrument is actually keeps out the value of this particular frequency range value means with the amplitude with the help of this amplitude that means it is giving a amplitude in db scale of a particular frequency so that is the meaning of the frequency selective so frequency selective voltmeter okay so frequency selective voltmeter that is all about frequency selective wave analyzer okay audio range wave analyzer and the characteristics of the active filter so that is all about the frequency selective wave analyzer used in the audio frequency range in the next class it takes a lot of time today so in the next class we will discuss the heterodyne type wave analyzer okay heterodyne type wave analyzer heterodyne is the uh, hard the term in your communication course so heterodyne is actually nothing but mixing okay so with the help of the mixing technology we are getting this frequency selection towards a audio frequency range to megahertz range so that is all about the difference between that and purpose is same we used to measure the particular frequency amplitude here is the low frequency range and is the high frequency range and for select and selection of the high frequency range we are using a different not the filter circuit we are using a different circuit that is called the heterodyne circuit so that is the all difference between these two type of wave analyzer okay that's all in the next class we will discuss heterodyne type wave analyzer thank you